Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing The Flash from the CW from Farting Toys. Alright, so let's talk about uh, the, the big elephant in the room, which is the chest. And uh, as you can see in the package, his chest is more, um, how could I say it, like a different chest basically. This is more a triangular one, it's more like a circle-ish one. So I don't know why they decided to change it up. I believe this is like a better um, chest for the figure. This just makes it not, to be honest, it doesn't make it look that good as in the package right here. I mean, the rest looks as a figure, I guess. But, well, part of the, from the color, this one is more like a darkish, reddish, and this is like a brightest, but I think the brightest um, resembles more to the show with the show but anyways um let's go into the face face sculpt and they did a pretty decent job on making him look like grand custom which he is the one that plays flash in the cw pretty nice detail on it if my camera wants to focus here he is from the sides on the back as you can see it has like some texture to it which i think is pretty up. nice detail on it so yeah it looks pretty decent i really like the the little ears thing he has on his sides on the top i don't know my figure just came like this but from time to time i i Sometimes I think that this guy has side eyes and sometimes I do not. Like right now I don't think he has side eyes so I don't know if some figures comes with side eyes or they decide not to give um, this flash side eyes. So let me know if your the flash this flash has side eyes in the comments below. Alright now we're going to the detail of this figure. I really like the symbol. It looks a bit crooked to be honest. I don't know if they messed up in in the chest because I see like some lines I believe they're that's where the lining is supposed to be but I'm not sure as you can see he has a lot of texture in here just like in the in the head he has those kind of texture like around the suit and this one they painted the back so in case you're wondering if they painted the back they actually did because I've seen um like photos of the reverse flash from Injustice that they didn't paint the back they just painted the front which I find kind of kind of funny. They just didn't want to paint the back, I guess. More texture over here in the arms, all the lining, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of um, the Flash CW as I used to. Like um, back then, I used to buy the comics that were supposed to be tie-ins to, to it. And I used to watch all the shows. I think my favorite season was first, the first season and second season. The rest were meh for me. But yeah, I had to have this guy since <clears throat> the DC collectibles ones are like selling for like a hundred bucks, and I'm paying for that. Well, that's a lie. I did actually pay a hundred bucks for one of them. But that's because it was a two pack with them with Green Arrow, and they had an alternate head. Um, I mean like a, a hair without the mask so yeah I don't know if my father gonna do that even as a, a um, alternate head and part of the gold boots since in the show now they have the gold boots so it might be a gold label I don't know maybe there's more lightning in the in, um, in his, in his foot boots oh yeah and this would give him um, different ball joints more like a squarish ball, ball. Instead of the, that little circle, they give you like a more squarish one. Which I think is better than the circle one. It still gives you the same articulation. And in case you're wondering where this little detail is in the figure, if you put his chest more up, you're actually going to find it here. But he looks kind of weird if you do it like that. As you can see, he looks really weird. With his chest very up so if you go if you put it like normal pose that detail is gone you don't see it 
And I think that's like a downside to this figure. Well, basically the chest is a downside for this figure. The chest ruins it for me. I would prefer to have that chest instead of this one. But overall, it looks pretty decent. It looks... I like the detail on it. And to be honest, I prefer the, the suit from Season 4. Because it had like a more classic um, suit. Like it was a, a combination of a CW suit and the comic book suit. But that's just my opinion. And in the back, you can see more, more that they actually painted the lines. But like I said, the chest, I think, kind of ruined the details that they added to this figure. All right, now into the articulation part. So there you have it, this guy actually has every articulation you want, he's very flexible, he's able to move around, do cool poses, so yeah, no articulation with this guy I have no problem with, like I said, the only problem I have with this figure is the chest area, that's my biggest problem, but other than that, it's a really um, great figure. Accessory, he comes with two lightning rods, as in the show, I mean it's a poster where he's holding like two lightning bolts um but i don't know if that's from the if they got it from the poster or from the actual show when they started freaking doing lightsabers when flash was ver flash and reverse flash versus um godspeed doing freaking lightsabers i don't know if they're freaking running out of money or they, they just had that bad idea of doing that but i don't know if these are based on that let me know if you know and for his body they gave us uh, like this um lightnings to put um on top of him when i actually opened it i was kind of confused i was i was really confused how to put this thing on him but make sure that this um lining over here like this line goes in back of him and this open area goes in front and that's how it actually goes on him and here we have him with the lining and the lining around his hands in the back you can see the lining also i mean i have to give it to mcfarlane for giving us something different they could have just give us um like the lightning effects from um the flash from the justice league movie they could have just given us that and just painted like yellowish although in the packaging it looks more yellow i would prefer that and this one because this one looks more like a transparent yellow but hey that's uh, just nitpick for me all right now here we have the greatest standoff which one is better the mcfarlane version of this flash or the DC collectibles one and I have to say that if you want like more quality and more articulation on these flash um, I would say McFarlane takes it I mean he has he's more flexible a lot more movable more poses but at these collectible ones doesn't have that much articulation on it some of it is a bit stiff on him like his chest you're not able to um, make him like his chest move right down like the McFarlane one and this one actually has this kind of chest which I wanted for this for this flash I still don't know why I don't know like this one doesn't give you that much articulation I don't know that might be the reason why but this one has more a little bit more texture but this is like the season one flat, um, suit and this one is the the newest one, the, like the recent Flash version. So I don't know. I mean, texture-wise, on this one, the disconnectable ones, I prefer. Really love the texture on this guy. And he also in this one, I don't have a problem with the face sculpt. God damn it, camera, come on, focus. There you go. I don't have a problem with the face sculpt on this guy. Not at all. I mean, he kind of looks like Grand Gustin in this one also. But I really, I believe this one is like the better version. So yeah, the, I really prefer 
the McFarlane version, even though the chest kind of ruins it for me, like I'm, I keep saying. And I don't know if other people have this problem with the chest. And here we have him next to the CW Green Arrow, which I also believe is a it's a decent figure. I mean, it, he came out in the first wave, so the articulation of this guy is a bit meh, not that great. But I'll give it a pass since um, it looks cool. It looks like, I, I believe this is from the last season. Season um, 8, I believe, of no, or 9. I don't remember that correctly, but I think season 8 from Green Arrow. I gave him the DC Collectibles um, bow and, and arrows. I gave him like a, like, he came the, uh, from the DC Collectible ones, um, Green Arrow came with these arrows and I just gave it to this guy. And surprisingly, it looks good. Um, well, except for the arrows, I probably will paint them green. But probably later. Um, so yeah, it looked really great together. Uh, I believe, I don't know if it's me, but I believe the Flash looks a bit taller than the Green Arrow. I don't know if it's just me, but I think he does. I think he is big taller than Green Arrow. And in the next one, we have Supergirl, also from the CW. And this is like more like the season one um, costume. Not a really big fan of the the last season's uh, Supergirl suit. Looks more like a, well, it looks kind of cool. It looks more like uh, Injustice Supergirl from the video games Injustice. But yeah, but it's just more comic accurate, and I really love this one with the skirt and uh, all the colors. So yeah, so far we have only two CW ones. From the DC TV shows, they have Green Arrow and The Flash. I wouldn't mind if they give us um, the freaking looking um, look um, Injustice from um, Supergirl and Superman from Superman and Lois. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they give us that. And with that, I will be happy. I don't need um, the, the other characters from the CW show. I will just be happy with Superman, uh, Supergirl, and that'll be it. I don't know if uh, McFarlane's gonna release a version of this guy with a different head sculpt, running hands, and the wooden boots, and just we can put a um, gold label on it. But I don't know. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.